Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. If you're new here, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome. This is the tour of my mom cave that I did over in the past couple months. I know it took a very long time, but I really wasn't rushing the process. I just wanted to focus on doing some little things on my own and here we are. So I'm going to start with just a little overview and then I'll go into each little area and explain what they are. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Have any questions, comment below. There are going to be a ton of things in this video. As you can see, this room has a lot of things, so there's absolutely no way that I can link everything here. So if you have a question about something specific, ask in the comments. Alrighty, let's go. So it's a little dark um, because it's four o'clock and basically that's nighttime here in New York. So this is where you enter. Um, if you wanna see previous mom cave decor or a previous video, I'm going to link that in the description. So this is a quick overview of everything. I didn't really like to clean up for this occasion. I just wanted you to see the space, how it is, and just me, how it is in its natural element that's with me utilizing it. So I'm going to start from over here where we have the entrance, the doorway, and then there's this barn door closet. If you've been here before, you will know that my husband made me this barn door mirror and I have been loving it so what i did was i did use some flowers to um, kind of put it together and make this little like accent thing i don't even know what to call it but inside of this closet i have my extra things things that i don't really have a space for outside my printers my cricut machine craft papers are on the bottom and I have my medication. Up top, I have a lot of business stuff and I have boxes of things that I use from time to time. So that is clothes. I try to keep it as organized as I possibly can, but you know, it gets messy sometimes. Then over to my desk. The only thing that I did not get a new one of is a chair. Um, I am still in the process of looking for a chair, but this chair is very dirty. It's stained. It's hard to clean. So I just put that scarf over it for now. It kind of matches it exactly. So this is a desk that I got from Wayfair a couple months ago. It's really big. I think it's around 64 inches long or 60. Lots of space and I utilize every, <laughs> every corner of it. So this is just the area of how it looks and I'm just going to back up a little bit so you can see it a little better. It is, I realize that I'm a maximalist, so I love all the things and I love sitting here. It may look like a lot of things to some people, but to me, it's just really my cozy space. So here I have some things for stamping. I use these in my planner or sometimes in my um, journal, but I'm journaling. So I have these stamps. This is from Home Goods, And I have two more over there that I'm using to store stickers and also like journal and supplies and lots of cute stuff. Those are from Amazon. And then I have this which is from home goods and that is my pen holder so what's in front of this is go to it's actually wallpaper i put it there to just make it look less plain then i have this system here this is a pegboard from the container store it's called bello and i have washi tape and some other items like my ferris wheel ink for my pens those are my two fancy pens sailor moon and twisby i have washi tapes from simply gilded i really love her washi tapes and i just framed the pegboard with this frame that i had from a long time ago 
that's a candle holder i'm going to get like a cute skinny candle for it i picked it up from the thrift store these frames are from target so these are the same lac shelves that i had previously one thing that i did to kind of give them a little bit of character i had my husband cut some molding and i have to kind of fill these in so that's that's what i did to kind of give it a little bit more character like i did with the wall above my pack system so over there we have my planners notebooks lots of things that are cute that i want to look at and then down here i'm going to sit and talk about what's here i'm already getting tired and out of breath this is just what i deal with so i had to sit down and this is another reason why i don't really do a lot of videos anymore because it's just a lot of work and i get super tired easily so sorry about the the shakiness so see what we have here in this section i have some washi tape and some cute little decor items and over here i have this organizer from wayfair and i have my skincare that i use morning and night some of those things all my excess skincare are in a drawer and then over here i have this little vase with the baby breath that i got the other day and then this is my mirror this mirror is from anthropology it's it's actually a, a tray this is a tray that i really love the shape of it i thought it went with the decor and everything it looks really gorgeous and it did not have like a back or anything so my husband i'm gonna move this my husband made it he mounted a tv mount on the back of it so it comes out and it can tilt and i can see myself see so now we're going to go look what's in the drawers so this is the first drawer um, this drawer contains all of my makeup I do keep a rag here, so when I'm doing my makeup, because I have a few things that I use at a time, I open this out and I also use this to like wipe my hands. So today is Friday and today, after today, is going to get washed. It gets washed every week. I have more than one of these. These are from my TJ Maxx. So like if I'm putting on my foundation, I'll just put everything here, just like that. And my brushes, I just lay everything on them here. And then when I'm done, I fold it back and put it in the drawer to make less mess. And I also have like something to wipe my hands on. Or if I need to wipe something off of my makeup, I have a cloth for that. Then we have the second drawer. This is all stationary items, my pens. You can see what's here, washi tape and sticky pads. And then over here, we have another drawer with stationary items. I just separated them because I had the excess drawer. I got this the other day and it's supposed to make the edge of the paper like that. It's really cute. I have my Dwight sticker. I love opening this drawer and seeing my face. It's hilarious. And I have these are going to go on my planner for 2023. So these are from the Ikea, from the container store. The brand is Poppin and it fits this and this and then I have something in the middle and that's what I'm using here and the last drawer with the makeup that you saw before those are just random um, containers that I put together no real system over there and then up top I forgot to share I keep my disc in this little mason jar that I got at the thrift store and then I have like some of the papers that I really love I put them in this um, it's like um a holder for 12 by 12 papers on Amazon if you want it let me know I will link it for you I will respond to you and link it so this is this part of the office and that's what I look at every day so I'm gonna give you a quick view of the other side so this is everything in this room is kind of like multi-purpose I like my desk, I use it for so many things. I do my hair, makeup, skincare, everything there, plan, work. 
this section I have my Christmas tree because of space this is the only spot that I could actually fit it in so the Christmas tree is there I showed a video on my Instagram of me decorating it the tree and ornaments are from Michaels a couple things are from Target this is also the same concept with a frame pegboard except for this pegboard is from Home Depot and my husband framed it for me with this frame we got from a thrift store the items the racks and everything some are from amazon and some are from the container store so the container store pegboard and the pegboard from home depot they do not line up the holes do not line up so be careful with that and then i have those two frames up there that talks about when i'm bored or feeling down some things to do which are all free and then have you online window shop today so those are just some options if i'm bored or feeling down and then here we have my ribbon collection i love ribbons so that's what i have right there moving over we have the ikea packs closet system that is multi-purpose i have my favorite sweaters here in the drawers i have like pajamas i have shirts to go out I'll show you. So these are like some of my favorite jammies. In the bottom I have underwears. I have some shirts that I wear out. I have excess ribbons in here. Here I have a variety of things. No real organization. And then I have this thing that I got from um, Amazon. I think it's called a valet. And it's basically for you to hook your clothes. Let's say you're picking out an outfit. You can hook it. I like to just throw my jacket up there when I get home or if I'm picking out an outfit, putting it together, I'll use it as a hanger. And I have a mirror here from Home Depot and this section just have like some Christmas decoration. I have this chain holder that I got from a thrift store and these are my necklaces. This is a bag mount. It's from... I keep, um, let's see, it's from Amazon. And I keep my Sony Clover bag here. And the other bag mount holds my Chanel bag, but that's the bag that I've been using. And then up top, I have some of my other bags. I have sweatshirts, my used notebooks, and just some things that I really love. So in this drawer, not really the neatest. I keep like pouches here. Um, tote bags, you know those reusable tote bags, shopping bags. Here I have fabric and everything related to sewing, needles, pins, extra buttons that come with my clothes. Those two drawer, um, those two baskets, they have excess skincare, and then I have my night scarves and bonnets in there, and then this one back here contains socks. And then here is all stationary except for this drawer is all nails, nail polish, um, press on nails, nail um, care. I have memory planning stuff here and I have like dashboards and stuff for planning, stamps, my label maker and my wild for planners um, little basket. So here we have notebooks and excess planner things this used to be a junk drawer but it's an organized junk drawer right now and i have everything neatly organized in baskets from um target the bottom drawer has business stuff here we are just a quick little overview of that area and if you move over to this section you will see i have a shelf with some bags and i have a few dresses that I love all from different stores if you want me to do my a dress collection video let me know I would love to do that that rack is from Amazon I believe and I really love it so this is the chair that I reupholstered I think a summer ago and I kept it I tried to put ruffles on the bottom but it I don't know it's okay <laughs> but I ended up changing the carpet to something a little less busy even though it looks busy it's less busy than the first one and this little foot ottoman here is 
Shabby Chic collection and I got it online. If you sh search Shabby Chic Ottoman, you will find it. It's a really big size and being that I don't have the bed in here anymore, when I push this all the way up, it's really, really comfortable with my blanket and my light over there. All right, so it's getting dark, so I did turn the light on, close the window, the blinds. So this lamp is from Target. The little table over here is from Target. I got it for $10 at a yard sale, sanded it down and painted it. I have these cute little picture frames and my diffuser for when I want in here to smell like lavender or whatever I need. Some shelves with stationery, um, my bag. And I have a lot of artwork coming that's going to fill the frames. But one thing I want to show you is my little basket here. It's called my cozy basket. It contains blankets and big fuzzy socks. So when I'm sitting in my chair and I'm cold, I can use it to warm up my feet and get comfortable. My husband did frame the TV. And below that, I have this little open shelf that I got from Home Goods a few months ago. I kind of did the top because it was a gray color and I did the gold border around it. I think I'm gonna ch change back the gold border to white because it's kind of messing with my eyes. I don't really like it. I might work on that tonight because I don't have a lot to do. So the, the idea for this section was to make it like a store you know, like when you walk into a store, you see like a table with different accessories. That was the goal of this part. So I have my headbands. I have some jewelry and picture frames that are going to be filled soon. And then below I have my perfumes and lotions. And then I have my collection of Stony Clover Lane bags. Bye, Lonnie. Mm -hmm. Have a good time at Cheer. Bye. Love you. And then at the very bottom, I have picture frames and stuff that I'm still working on as far as the decor. So I want to put some plates on the wall. I saw like this really country cottage idea and they have like plates. Just let me know what your thoughts about that. It's cute. Bye, baby. Love you. Have a good time. at cheer. Um, I have this with nothing on it yet. And I have this little hook where I keep my robe. And then that basket have things that I'm going to be giving away pretty soon. So this is everything. The wallpaper, not wallpaper, the wall decals. They are from Rocky Mountain Wall Decals. And you can just type in Rocky Mountain Wall Decals. They are peonies. And then I have the paint over there. I love this room really really I, I'm here all the time it's beautiful I walk in here and it's you know my dream so over here I'm doing like a collection of maybe like vintage frames style so I have two so far that's wallpaper from Love Shack Fancy I put it just on this section right here to put the picture frames and this is the office. See, something spilled on the chair and it it went all the way down. I cleaned it. It can't come off. So I need a new chair soon. So this is my office. I hope you love this tour. I had to rush a little bit because this is exhausting. And that's the reason why my videos, I don't really have a lot anymore. So like when I do something... This is literally me. I lay down right here and just breathe. Like my tolerance for things is just not the same anymore. And to do a walk around video like this, it's a lot. But maybe if I wasn't recording or I don't know. I need a nap now. But I hope you love this space. I love it so much. I'm here all the time. Everything is cute. I want everything to be cute. I want every 
where I look in this room to be cute. So, um, this is it. I'm going to show you a view of what it looks like when I'm sitting down in this chair. I keep forgetting the camera's over here. Hi, Snappy. You want to come say hi? Okay, look. So, when I'm sitting in the chair, my feet are here. Snappy, say hi. Say hi, Snippy. Snippy in his little bed. He's very festive. Super, super festive. He's like the life of the party. And this is my view. I am here. I look at all of my things over there. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm I'm glad I did it. Because if I were to do it after I do get the chair, God knows when that's going to be because I'm super picky and I want a specific chair. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this space and I hope this gives you some inspiration for you to make your own mom cave or your glam room or your babe cave if you're not a mom or just your personal space. Let's make a room that's special to you so thank you for watching and i will see you next time